about a dozen years ago, I divorced my house. You heard that right, I divorced my house. I was in a situation where uh, I couldn't afford it and my husband and I were separated, neither one of us could afford it and I needed to divorce my house because it was keeping me powerless. I had the power to make more decisions. I had the power to run my life differently, but the security that I felt by keeping the house was keeping me stuck. Yes, I wanted the house on the 20 acres for my children. Yes, I wanted some of these things to be different, but I needed to turn to God and look at what was happening during the separation, that it was building my family, that it was changing things, it was making things better. So. I'm Tanya. I've lived this attic situation for 20 years and I've been coaching around healing families for the last five and that is something that I would like to help you with. So stay tuned, we've got another tip. So when you are feeling powerless, look around and see what is causing that. What are the choices you have made that's causing that powerlessness? Is it keeping something that is way more than you could afford if you did what God was telling you to do? Is it something that uh, you want but you don't need? Is it something that is holding you back because you are not trusting God and you are staying in this sense of safety? Now, what changed was my husband got sober. I began to get well. And I'm gonna say I was crazier than he was during this time. So here's the thing I want you to look at. When you say, I like my life the way it is, yet I'm really struggling with how this relationship is going or how this relationship with the son, daughter, mother, father, spouse is going, what are you holding on to that's keeping you powerless? What's keeping you stuck in this relationship as opposed to saying, hey, I make the choices in my life. God is there to support me. My security is not in a house. My security is not in um, a job. My security is not in saying I'm married or I'm not married or I have uh, this much money in the bank account. My security is in Christ. How are you able to switch that so that you become powerful to make the choices and the decisions that you need to make to build a healthy family? So I've got a course showing up below that talks about that. I also would love to see you in our Sober on Purpose Facebook group where we talk about more things like this. So, do you need to divorce your house? Do you need to leave a job? Do you need to change just some routines in your life that allow you to be more connected, more whole, and in control of your life in the way that God sees it?